Hi everybody! Second Tag is here with the attack line for Tuesday, October 11th, 2011. I'm in my room, but today I'm using my webcam from my laptop today. My main computer is getting some maintenance done. It's down for now. Be back up and running tomorrow, so I'll be able to record on my main computer tomorrow. Is using my laptop for now. That's why it looks a little different than my other videos. But let's get started with our first order of business, which is the American Music Awards. Announcing the nominees today. AMAs, as they're known, will be on November 20th at 8, 7 Central. That's a Sunday, only on ABC. Or as I have to call that Pacific Sunday, Survivor Series Sunday. They've been making the AMAs on the same night as Survivor Series for the last five years. I've been able not been able to watch it because of it. But leading nominations for the AMAs is Adele. Leading with four nominations, including Pop Rock Female, Pop Rock Album for 21, Adult Contemporary Artist, and Artist of the Year. For that category, Artist of the Year, should be going up against Katy Perry, Lady Gaga, Taylor Swift, and Little Wayne. I got some Taylor Swift and Gaga news soon to come. Now, other nominees include Bruno Mars. He gets some nominations. He's up for Best Male Artist. He's up against Pitbull and Justin Bieber. Now, I've said this on my awards show, pre reviews, and my other shows, that if there's an award show that's fan-voted like this award show is, and Justin Bieber's in the category, you know Justin Bieber's fans and believers will be burning up their ass for Justin Bieber to win. Same goes for Little Monsters, Lady Gaga fans. As much as Gaga will be up for Artist of the Year. But that ain't the only nomination she got. She got Album of the Year, Pop Rock was born this way. And Best Female Pop Rock against Adele and Katie. Other nominations, Country Style, Taylor Swift up against Miranda Lambert. And Sarah Evans with Best Country Female. Jason Dean up against Blake Shelton. And... Brad Paisley for Best Country Male. Come to do a group. Band Perry, Zach Brown Band, and Lady Antebellum. There's also the Best New Artist category this year, uh, which will be divided in semifinals up to the finals. So there you go. I'll tell you the finals when they're announced. Also getting nominated is, is Rihanna. She's up for Best Pop Rock Album for Loud, RB Album for Loud, and RB Female. And her ex boyfriend. Chris Brown also got some nominations as well. That's the AMAs on at 8 on November 20th. Katy Perry and Pitbull will be performing. As of right now, they're the only perform confirmed. Speaking of Rihanna, in a new interview, I don't know what magazine it was. Uh, forgot, I think I read about it today. She said that she's still a fan of Chris Brown despite all that happened with them and the whole, the whole thing with them getting... The courts and of course the assault before the Grammys. So that's that. Then we had news on Rihanna's album today. Her album, Talk That Talk, is we all know it's coming out November 21st, the day after the AMH. She revealed two album covers today. One before Hell Back for the regular album. In the deluxe edition, her blowing smoke out of a cigar. Of course, the current single, We Found Love, heating up the charts. She'll be in top 5 this week. It was in top 10. Bigger the fastest time to take it from bottom of the top 10. It only took it 2 weeks to get in the top 10. So there you go. The album comes out November 21st. Other news today involves another AMA nominee, Miss Taylor Swift. She was named today by Billboard as Woman of the Year. Last year's honor went to Fergie. This year... It's Taylor Swift's year. She's had a great year, selling one million copies of her first week for a new album, Speak Now, going on a nationwide tour, including stadiums, which ends in a couple of weeks at Madison Square Garden, which releases her new live CD, DVD. Same day as Gaga's, too. So that's kind of cool. So congrats to uh, Miss Taylor for that honor. Yeah, Taylor's got a lot happening. CMAs and AMAs as well. And hopefully some gaming nominations again. As we head towards December. And all Sundays, got some also news on Lady Gaga. As mentioned by the tagline, I think last week, she revealed a new single. 
It's Marry the Night. It's a fifth single. Now, although it's not officially out yet, since they're trying to still waiting on the fever to melt down over you and I being the top ten, she, she reportedly is shooting the video for Marry the Night right now, according to her agents. And I cannot wait to see it. According to several sources, according to sources I've read on MTV, I think that's the first site I heard about it. Yeah, she's shooting at Staten Island in New York, being friendly and courteous to everybody. That she was hiding behind a sheet to order to keep her video look concealed because she's trying to. She always likes to keep her video details big, big secrets. So I can't wait to see Mary tonight in the video whenever it comes out. It was a good night and a bad night last night. But before I get to that, let's get on down to dates with the stalls review. Now, as I mentioned by Attack Line yesterday, it wasn't on at 8 o'clock last night because of the Lions and the Tigers. I mean, Lions and Bears game specifically. We'll get to that in a moment. So it didn't air until 2 o'clock in the morning last night. So I watched it. I missed the first two dances. I missed David Arquette and China Phillips. But I heard China Phillips didn't do that good. Man, I hope she bounces back soon. And from what I've saw, Wiki Lay, I haven't seen multiple dancing, but Wiki Lay is the one to beat. She is my favorite, my new favorite. She's a, a psycho thing last night. Was, I was like, oh, movie theme nights. She was fantastic. She's going to stay with a 29, man. She's going to get a 30 soon. Maybe one or two weeks, she'll get that lucky 30. And with Derek on her side, former champion, see what goes down there. Now, when it comes to coming home, I got three choices this week. Now, as you all know, I said on my attack line and various stuff last week and the last couple weeks, that dancing's not just all about dancing. It's all about voting and what a popularity contest it can be for people staying over people that doesn't deserve to be eliminated. Like what happened last week with Chris and Carl Lowry. My first choice is obviously Chance to go home because she's he's been there for a couple of weeks that should have been there. But actually, he did pretty good, but still a lot more way to go. But at least it was better than Nancy Grace, who is my second choice to go home. God, she was terrible. She was stiff as a fucking board last night. She had no performance at all. In dancing, it's about two things. Technique and performance. If you have technique and no performance, cut, man. You have that performance. Because one after all, Hope Solo, she had energy. She had performance and technique. Same thing Ricky Lake. My third choice is Carlson, because he was on last place. He had a 20, one point less than Nancy and Chaz, who had 21 each. So, that's my three choices to go home tonight. Carlson, Nancy, and Chaz. Three-way vote on who should go home tonight. Now, sports news. Like I said, it was a good night, bad night. Bad night first. Tigers got their asses handed to them. Choked for the second game of the war against the Texas Rangers. They're down 2-0, headed into game three tonight in Detroit. With a walk-off grand slam from Cruz from the Rangers to end it at the top, bottom of the 11th. And by the time the Lions choked their asses off, 7-3 loss, Perry. Pitcher should not be in there. It was a good night to end it all in Detroit as Detroit Lions under the bright lights of Monday Night Football for the first time in 10 years, got the victory over the Bears. The score was, where was it, 21 to 14 or 21 to 10? But no matter, Lions are 5 and 0, oh, baby. Yeah. I'm a Bears fan, but I'm happy for the Lions. I'm so happy for the city to get a big win. National television, congrats to the Lions. Congratulations to them, 5-0. and oh. Now, as mentioned on my attack line yesterday, there was no Glee tonight. Glee's been preempted for the time being, so I won't be any Glee news for a while. But that is it. That's my attack line. See you all tomorrow for Game 3 results of Tigers and Rangers. Number 1 Billboard album and single. And Modern Family Preview. On my main computer, not my laptop. With that in mind, this has been Tapped. By the news from Zach. Thank you very much. See ya later. Bye bye. Hey.